most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy Friday. We have made it to just about to the weekend now, and uh, that means some warmer weather is uh, moving in uh, too. So East Pennsboro Area High School here, 31 degrees this morning, and the winds have backed off too. So there could be some frost around again today as we really say goodbye to the growing season. I think we're really quibbling, you know, the National Weather Service frost watch freeze warning. You know, it's hard to keep it straight, but here's the deal. When temperatures dip below freezing, you know there's a chance of a frost. And we have had especially outlying areas do that a lot this week. So the growing season, I think, is officially dead. 59 yesterday, so almost at 60 degrees. Today, I think we will be in the 60s. And here's the problem again. We still need some rain, and it looks like we are now closing in on two and a half inches of a deficit, which uh, is the biggest that we've seen here so far during this uh, stretch and a drought watch continues for some of our counties. More might be added here if we continue to stay dry. And it looks like we will for the most part. Even the rain chances we see, and I mentioned this yesterday, as uncertain as they are, doesn't look like a lot of rain coming our way. So satellite and radar picture clearing out that upper level low from the last couple of days lifting out of here. Most spots are in the 30s this morning, unlike most of the week, where we've seen pockets of 30s and low 30s. But some of us have stayed in the 40s. But even Harrisburg dipping to 38, Lancaster in the 30s, Lebanon 39, York down to 32 degrees, so it is chilly. And notice here on the temperature map, the change over the last 24 hours, a significant one in spots, five to 10 degrees colder than yesterday. So here's that upper level low. Now kind of taking all of that energy and the winds and the moisture with it back up into Canada. That little trough went through last night, as we mentioned it would, and now we've got mainly clear skies and high pressure building in. So this is going to be our forecast here for most of the weekend. High pressure, dry weather, fair weather, sunny weather. And just beautiful skies with warm temperatures, too. I think by Saturday we are near 70 degrees. We are going to keep watch on this low for late Sunday. We mentioned that before, that that would be the uh, kind of the fly in the ointment. In the meantime, today just looks gorgeous. A nice evening for football games. Temperatures in the low 60s today. Tomorrow looks gorgeous, too. A great day for any fall activities you have planned with highs near 70 degrees. And then looking ahead into Sunday, we will see some increase in clouds. Here's the morning hours, kind of a partly sunny day. And this model does show some showers. Now, I think this is a little bullish with the rain. I don't think it's going to be that heavy, but we will talk more about that here coming up. I, I do think for the most part, though, some showers by Sunday night and into Monday are possible. Some light showers. 730 Penn State whiteout. Minnesota comes to town. Beaver Stadium, a great day for tailgating. Mostly sunny temperatures in the 60s in State College. Just a gorgeous afternoon, a high of 66 and a pleasant evening for the whiteout, which you can watch right here on ABC 27. Dan Tommaso and I talk about that and more in our Weather Wagers podcast this week. You can get that new episodes, abc27.com. We are on YouTube. I know a lot of you watch it on there, and we've got Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music, too, wherever you get them. And Dan finally lost a side wager. You're going to see him coming up uh, in the next hour. Put on some Cowboys gear. So I was excited. I finally won one. You can see what we've got here with our rain chances going forward. We don't expect a lot of rain, but it is going to be unsettled with at least a daily threat of showers. This includes here Sunday night into Monday morning as we take a look at the long range forecast. It's not going to be a lot of rain. Tuesday and east wind could give us a few sprinkles and then Wednesday now, Wednesday and Thursday, this next front wants to move through with a few showers as well. So none of it looks to add up to a lot of rain, but there will be daily opportunities for at least a few showers starting Sunday night and into next week. Now, the one thing this front next week will not do, look at this big ridge building in. This is not going to cool us off much as the ridge kind of reasserts itself by the end of next week. So it looks like this warm up is going to be here to stick around at least for a while. Mostly sunny today, 62 degrees tonight. Cool, there still could be some patchy frost in outlying areas with lows around 40. And then uh, look at that, near 70 here on Saturday, 65 Sunday with some showers Sunday night. Still lots of uncertainty next week as to where and when that rain is going to hit, but mm -hmm. we'll keep you posted on that as we stay in the 70s next week. Okay, thank you, Brett. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.